and now for something completely different. Hello again, Skunk Monkey here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. As you may have noticed, I am not in any of my normal worlds. In fact, I am in a super flat world, and this is kind of odd. Well, I wanted to do something different, and I watch a channel on YouTube called Mumbo Jumbo, and he does a lot of Minecraft work, a lot of redstone, and a lot of cool things. And he put out a challenge that he needed help with a build. And he has built a kelp farm, and he didn't like the design that he put on top of it. So he wanted to reach out to his viewers and see who could come up with some interesting ideas that he could either copy or just kind of use parts of. So I just thought, you know what? I'm going to do something just to throw it out there to give him something to look at. And I figured I'd show you guys. So this is the palette that he uses. It's cyan, cyan, cyan terracotta, white concrete, white glass panes, quartz, quartz stairs, and quartz slabs. And that's what all of his build is. And it's kind of a futuristic build. And it looks really cool. So I thought, eh, yeah, let's do something like it. So my thought initially is, that we do some some curved uh, like stripes going up the corners and then around the center like a circle I'm not really sure uh, but the area is 20 by 24 so I'm gonna throw some stuff together and uh, yeah let's see what we can come up with be right back all right so this is kind of the idea that I had for the curve and I want it's going in straight at the corner and all four sides are moving in towards each other. And now we need to fill in this area. But it's got to look, it's got to look futuristic. Uh, <laughs> I doubt where the middles are, just so that we can kind of feel. I wish it was an odd number. I don't like evens because I'd like a nice center line going through. But unfortunately, it's like this. So we will start throwing in some some of this just that it follows the same line and then we can work from there so that's kind of the, like the idea on the side and then put some of the quartz in here run that along yeah let me play around with this and We'll see what we can come up with because you don't want too much of this because that would just be, oh, that would just be, well, it'd be too much of it. But it's an idea to have the quartz in here and then he likes using the cyan as a kind of an accent. So maybe we can do something with that. Actually, I think maybe we can move the cyan in to here and then move the quartz even inside that to kind of give it some depth something like that hmm that is not the right block neither is that <laughs> all right we'll play around with that and see what i can come up with all right once i started uh putting this cyan in I noticed that if I moved everything back by one, it would go nicely into this little slot right here. So I ended up bringing this back and then going up and then putting this cyan terracotta line along here and then filling in with this glass, which, you know, it's kind of just attached here and then wraps around the corner. And I think it looks nice, but I'm going to have to adjust all four corners. And one thing I forgot to mention is that for lighting, you usually use what are they sea lanterns yeah sea lanterns so i'm gonna have to throw some of those in here for lighting oh, maybe in things like that that could that could look pretty cool all right let me let me move all this around and put this on all of these end or both the ends and then figure out what we're going to do in the middle all right so i think i've got it all put together both sides done and 
went ahead and wrapped this around and shortened this by one brought these up so that it could wrap all the way around and I think I think that looks nice uh, I was looking at this and I know I put it here as a placeholder for the center but I, I kind of like the way that it looks it just gives it a little extra like definition going along the side and I think that's really nice little touch just to have that sitting there oops not there yeah I, I like that it's it's nice uh, this this is not good no this is supposed to be like that I don't want them touching that much uh, one thing I was thinking about also is if you put slabs here it helps the textures to kind of connect instead of just kind of floating I think that's a nice little touch also it's a little different color which actually in this case I think looks nice so I think I think that's a good idea so I'm gonna add that Oops. and I'm trying to think what should go in here but I think it might look nice just open like that I think that oh I had this for lighting here so I should probably change that out as well over here Ha. Okay, and then the slabs. Right, oops, raise that up a little bit. Put the slabs here. Okay. I like it. I like it. It's coming along, coming along. Um, what else does it does it need anything else? That's the question. It's kind of it's a clean build. I think it needs something something up here. Not sure what though, because these are just kind of out and open, not really doing a whole lot. I wonder if we did something like take that out. I hate doing that. But if we took that out and we just put this like that all the way through. Oh, that's kind of a cool look. <laughs> I like that look. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the other three sides and maybe play around with something up top. And then I think we might actually be done. I, I think it's a cool futuristic looking build. All right, be right back. All right, so I went and put the... Uh, the glass columns in and then I put the cyan terracotta up the side because it just it just felt a little empty I was originally thinking about putting something wrapped around this area but it just got way too busy so I think this looks nice and then I'm thinking if we use the slabs like this it kind of breaks that area up a little bit I, I think I think that could look really nice. Let me just finish that up here. Oh, I hate working with panes. I'm glad they're named that because they are a pain. <laughs> Let's just finish that up there. Okay, how did I... Okay, I'm not really sure what I did there. On the other side, let's put these in. that run around to this Let's get caught on the glass run to this side okay I just put it a single like that but we'll fill it in actually if we did that and we could let no because I've got that kind of like that just running through like that and then put these slabs here and out there <laughs> here and there that's a really cool looking build actually I like it I like it a lot I don't think I want to add these here though do I 
do they break up the terracotta or is it too much I think that's too much get rid of those all right I think that's it I know this was a little bit of a different video than normal but I enjoyed it I think it's a fun little break from the different series that I've been doing the different survival series and data packs so I don't know, it's a very light build, but uh, very futuristic. I don't know, hope Mumbo likes it. I'll be tweeting it at him, uploading the video. So, hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you like the content that I've been putting out, please consider subscribing. And hope to see you in the next video. Until next time.